I believe God gives people riches and rather decides to give people like me a life in poverty. Want to know what poverty looks like? I'll tell you. Growing up, I had practically had everything, though I had no clue how hard my parents had to work for the good life. As soon as I turned 18, I saw what it's like. I had to buy my own clothes. When I came to my senior year of high school, I saw what reality is and what poverty is. I couldn't afford to buy my last ever yearbook. I couldn't afford to buy my cap and gown. I graduated at 19. I couldn't afford haircuts. I couldn't afford jack squat. I had and still have to live paycheck to paycheck just to get by. Busting my ear at my job, making nearly $13 an hour. Prior to this job, I was an assembly worker that was folding boxes for the USPS until the contract expired and all of us were laid off. October 31st and November 1st, 2017. I was homeless for those couple of days and I was living in my car during a Minnesota cold winter. And no so-called buddy would let me stay until I found a place. I had to sell my old truck I wanted to fix just to make rent for the apartment I lived in at the time. I was making ten fifty an hour with weekly pay at the temp agency. Prior to the pandemic, I was getting my food from Salvation Army and the food shelf. If COVID never hit, I'd still be getting food from those places. Now I buy my groceries from the discounted ads and I just buy just to get by. It mayn't be much, but it helps. I learned to savor my food by eating at dinner only and to drink water when hungry throughout the day. Yes, I'm still large, but who cares anymore? Only the mentally screwed will bully the non-skinny for a laugh, knowing y'all go into hell for that evil, and God will ask why you felt you had to do it. I had to wash my clothes with body wash and shampoo just to clean them. I had to drink lake water after boiling. I'm white, and I never had the privilege that y'all idiots talk about. I struggled, and I've done the most embarrassing things just to get by. I'm still trying to get by on the amount that I make a month. I drive piece of crap cars and trucks that fall apart, even when they were in great condition when first buying them. I know the financial cost. Don't tell people you can't donate because you're on a fixed or low income as you can. As I've had to donate and gave money to those that were less fortunate than me, those that actually needed it. I even lived without electricity. In 2015, I lived without electricity, not even heat in the winter months, to where we had to wear winter clothes to bed to keep warm and eat tons of cold food. I've been there. I know God predestines our lives, and He tries to strengthen the views of His people. The next video will be all about that. And yes, I was reading a script, because I would have a hard time remembering what I'm going to say. All of this was sincere. I'm trying not to be materialistic. I'm trying to be as content with what I have for the time being. You can only have someone be content for so long. It really is hard. It really is. Those of you that can afford the good life, good for you. Just please don't make yourselves all hip and mighty, cool and wealthy. Don't make yourselves look like that. Because the rest of us that are poverty stricken and low incomes, we envy you. So I'm trying to take everything with a grain of salt, just trying to get by, 
know one day that this will all end. The poverty will end. I'm not sure when the good Lord will have it end. And with that, I'll be explaining more in another video. I hope this positive insight will have helped you. Peace.